Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about fragrance oils. I know you guys have been asking me a lot about fragrance oils, which ones are my favorite and which brands I like, and so I already did a fragrance oils video, but this one is specifically about my 10 favorite fragrance oils, and they are from different brands. So we'll start with Jasmine's Marzipan from Arabian Perfume Oils. And this one, you guys, I am telling you, you have to get this one because it is what put me on to the actual Jasmine's Marzipan. This one is dead on, I'm telling you. It smells identical. I smelled this and I immediately fell in love with it. It's just a beautiful, sweet jasmine. It's not indolic. It's not, it doesn't smell like a fermented or decaying jasmine. It's a very fresh, sweet, really sexy jasmine. There's almond wood in here. It doesn't have a super sweet marzipan vibe about it. It's different. It's more floral and sweet, definitely more for the cooler weather, although I would layer it in the heat with more woody scents. It's beautiful, and I wear the oil with the original sometimes. This one is hard to find. I am halfway through my bottle, and it's really hard to find. It's sold out everywhere, so if you can't find the actual Jasmine's Marzipan, I highly recommend the fragrance oil from Arabian Perfume Oils to hold you over, at least for a while, until this gets back in stock. If you hear dog walking, hi. Thanks. Do you go lie down? Bernie likes Jasmine's Marzipan as well. Bernie always likes to participate in my videos. The next one is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've mentioned this one a few times and this one is from the fragrance shop. This one as well, I've used almost all of it. This is quite pricey, but the longevity and projection is incredible as compared to the original Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I actually have a large bottle, but I have it downstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I also have this teeny one that I got as a freebie from Sephora. This one smells amazing. I also have the dry body oil, the lotion, the body spritz from this brand. And this is completely unsponsored by the way. I just really like this brand. They do really high quality oils. They are the highest quality, but they are also the priciest. They're based in the States and they have a lot of discontinued fragrances as well. I like their Wood Sage and Sea Salt because it has amazing projection, especially compared to the original Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which unfortunately as good as the fragrance is, really lacks the projection and longevity and it's such a bummer because the scent is absolutely beautiful but this one is like ticking all the boxes for me so totally check this out if you like a nice woody clean smell i'm sure all of you guys already know what wood sage and sea salt smells like but it's just a very somewhat salty a little bit aquatic -y, woody scent with an herbaceous dry undertone and it's it smells very very clean it's a completely unisex fragrance it's just as good on men as it is on women and i just i love it so much the next fragrance as well is from the fragrance shop and this one is royal oud it's a dupe of creed's royal oud this one is right up there with oud wood as one of my favorite oud fragrances it is such a luxurious beautiful dry but warm oud there's some pepper in here there's a nice sandalwood and musk base along with that oud this oud is not a barnyard oud it's very dry it's actually very sexy very masculine if you're looking for an oud fragrance this is a gorgeous like intro to oud for men super sexy i'm telling you and this is like compared to creed very affordable i was then on the hunt for more fragrance oils to see how they compare and i got the one from arabian perfume oils and oil perfumery they are both royal oud as you can see and they actually like don't even come close this one is hands down the best royal oud i'm gonna say probably even better than the original Creek Royal Oud. That's arguable, that one is very good. But anyway, definitely go for this if you're looking for a nice, sexy Oud fragrance. I really do my research, you guys, before I decide which one's my favorite and I have a solid explanation as to why. I've smelled a lot of different fragrance oils and by far the ones that I'm showing you guys here 
are my absolute favorites and there's men's and women's fragrances most of these are unisex you guys probably know that i'm pretty well rounded in my fragrance taste i like things that are really feminine but i also like things that are quite masculine and the next one is a recent discovery and this one is from mood seasons i love their bottles or they're really cute they're bamboo the only problem really is that because they are dabber bottles and they come in a bamboo thingy with a little twist off cap they do spill a little bit in shipping so i hope that they're going to solve this issue i did address it with them and they said that they have a solution so that's good news this one is called lagertha and it is a dupe of Aventus for her, also a Creed fragrance. I really like it. It does have such an Aventus vibe, but more feminine. I know that it doesn't have a pineapple note. It has green apple and black currant and many other fruits. This is just it's it's a menagerie of different notes that really give off that Aventus vibe. But the way that the fruits in here combine do have a pineapple-y nuance even though there's no actual pineapple note. And I have the Aventus for her from Oil Perfumery and I don't like it as much because it's on my skin. It's a lot more sharp. This one's not as sharp. It's really beautiful and it's like a, it's a masculine feminine fragrance, if that makes any sense. It's got that Aventus vibe, has the same effect as Aventus for men, but it's the women's. Aventus, I guess. This is Lagertha. They do claim that their fragrances are only inspired by these popular fragrances and that they put their own twist on it. I have not smelled Aventus for her like straight from the bottle at the boutique, so I can't say how close exactly this is or whether it is really an inspirational fragrance and not actually an event for her dupe and if you guys want to check them out i have a promo code for you it's the scented and it'll get you 10 percent off your order i love their packaging i just really hope that they fixed the leaking issue i've tried a few from them and lagertha is by far my favorite next is a brand called stereoplasm and my favorite from them is called the velveteen stranger i don't know if you guys can see this but this brand is actually local from ontario canada which is where i'm from and they make their own little indie um fragrance oils and so i just got a sampler pack this one is gorgeous it is a beautiful blackberry scent they have some most interesting notes. The Velveteen Stranger notes are stolen peaches, yellow marshmallow, chopped cedar, blackberry aftershave, and cigar smoke. Now, I will say that they are very creative notes. I do definitely smell the blackberry. I smell peaches in here. And that aftershave, kind of like the typical aftershave smell is definitely in here. I don't smell cigar smoke. I don't really pick up any cedar. Maybe some marshmallow, but if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't know what's in here. It's mostly blackberry peach and that like kind of aftershave vibe. Super cool, really unique. They have really, really unique fragrances. I know that their site was shut down for a little while. I know it's it's an independent um, perfumer and I don't know, for whatever personal reason she was shut down, but they're back up now. I just checked their Instagram and they're back up and they have really cool seasonal scents as well. They are not stingy on the samples they send you. I got this one and like a bunch of other ones, but this one, honestly, I'm pretty sure this is part of their permanent collection and this was the most wearable. Not all of them are wearable. Um, some of them are just kind of artistic. The Velveteen Stranger, I love, love, love it. I highly recommend you guys check them out. I know their lead times aren't that great because they're literally making this by hand, but super cool concept. And yeah, Velveteen Stranger, I love the name, love everything about it. It's just, it's great. I haven't actually smelled a blackberry fragrance like this ever. Okay, moving on to the next. This is from Oil Perfumery and they make dupes. As I've told you guys before, they make dupes of popular or expensive rare fragrances they have a huge um selection of different fragrances like hundreds and hundreds and these are the ones that are my favorite from them i do buy from them the most they i think they have an american division and a canadian division so they ship fairly quickly i do buy from oil perfumery the most because of their massive selection and their really good quality for the price so 
my favorite from them, especially now for the summer, is the dupe of Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. This is stunning. This is probably the most beautiful Two Bros vacation -y scent that I've ever smelled. I love it. It's got a little bit of that suntan lotion vibe. Rouge Malachite is a very rich, warm, ambery tube rose. I don't see people really disliking this, but it's got that same rich, warm depth, like that ambery depth that Alien has, except that this is tube rose dominant. It's a really beautiful tube rose. A little bit woody, like really warm and ambery, and I could like I can actually see this being all year rounder. Even though I actually really like to wear it in the summer, because to me it's got a little bit of that summery, like vacationy feel to it. There's nothing quite like it, and I know that the Armani Privé line is very expensive, but the fragrance oils are like right on. Like I smelled the Armani Privé Rose Malachite at the boutique, and. I then smelt the oil right after and honestly like identical, absolutely identical in my opinion and this goes for like $15, $16, something like that. The next one that I'm really loving from this brand is their dupe of Bois d'Argent from Dior. This is such a nice warm iris scent, it's so clean smelling, oh my god. I honestly need to get myself a full bottle of this from Dior, but while I am working on that, this will hold me over. This fragrance does something to me that other fragrances don't do. Like, it's just like, it, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, it is perfection. This fragrance is so good. Again, completely unisex. It's super sexy on guys. I talked about it in my sexiest men's fragrances video. I like to wear it just as much. It's rich, it has myrrh, it has iris. It smells so clean, it doesn't smell like a super deep, rich, ambery fragrance. It's got a lot of like resins and woody notes, but it comes across just powdery, clean, a little bit woody. It does have depth, but not obnoxious. It's not obnoxious at all, it's super clean. This is like very, very signature scent worthy. I also, on a complete side note, ordered the fragrance from Van Cleef and Arpels that is like apparently a dupe for Bois d'Argent. I just looked it up. It's called Bois d'Iris and that one I'm just waiting for it to come in. We'll see how close it comes to Bois d'Argent, but I'm like pretty sure that I'm gonna have a full bottle of Bois d'Argent by the end of the year because it is absolutely gorgeous and this oil from oil perfumery is again spot on. If you're getting one fragrance oil and one fragrance oil only and you want it to be like an all year rounder, sexy, appealing, work appropriate, like everything appropriate unisex fragrance, like Bois d'Argent is the one. If you're only getting one, get Bois d'Argent. Whether you're a guy or a girl, I'm like super confident about this. I am obsessed with this fragrance, but now that we've hit our highest point, we're gonna work our way down. Not that the rest of the fragrances are not as good, it's just that I'm completely obsessed with Bois d'Argent right now. The other one that I really love from them, and again, this is my top 10, so obviously I'm gonna love some more than others, but they are still my top 10. The next one is called Killing Me Slowly, and this is a dupe of a Killian fragrance, and this one just smells super clean and musky. It just smells like like a soapy, clean white musk. It's a beautiful out of the shower scent. It's not sticky. This reminds me a lot of the body musk that oil perfumery has, and I was deciding between the two because I wanted a nice clean musk in here, but this one doesn't have that sticky, like opaque um, liquid. This one doesn't apply sticky. It's it's fine. It's not as annoying. I love the smell of body musk, but the downfall with that is that it is very very viscous and it's very sticky. This one's this oh, very, very similar fragrance, basically the same effect, but not sticky. This is great to wear in the evenings and like just as a winding down, kind of relaxing, clean scent. I love it. I wear it all the time in the evenings and after a shower and it's just, it's just very soothing. The original fragrance I think is like astronomically expensive. It comes in this beautiful like egg shaped, uh, like um, Fabergé egg bottle looking thing and like i don't honestly don't even know how much it costs because i haven't even looked into it it's completely out of my realm but the oil 
absolutely stunning. Another favorite of mine from Oil Perfumery is called Arabian Dream Nights. I love this. It smells like shisha. Like if you guys have ever smoked shisha, like hookah, I've mentioned this before. It smells like that fruity flavored tobacco that goes in there. There is no tobacco note in here. To my knowledge, apparently there's a soft oud note. I hardly pick it up. I do smell the saffron. I smell jasmine in here bergamot violet it's very soft there's a powderiness to it but also it almost it smells almost smoky not quite it's really yummy it's fruity i can't pinpoint the fruits there's a hundred percent there's saffron and jasmine in here i really smell it and like a sweetness like there's definitely a very obvious sweetness to it it's very unique it's got a really cool middle eastern vibe about it I haven't smelled any designer or Western fragrances that smell like this and I like douse myself in this. If I go out in the evening, it's super sexy and really unique. So that's Arabian Dream Nights and it's a dupe of an Al Haramein fragrance, which I've never tried. So I can't speak on how close it is, but it is really beautiful. Now, the last one that I'm going to touch on super quick because I've already talked about this fragrance a lot is Tom Ford Oud Wood and this is a dupe from Oil Perfumery and it smells identical. It's masculine. It's super sexy. It's one of my favorite sexiest fragrances for men. They have an oil version. They also have a spray version from the brand called Okcha, their sister companies. And I do have a code for you guys that they gave me. It's Yana15 and it'll give you 15% off your order. So you can use that at Oil Perfumery or Okcha. Regardless, you get 15% off. And yeah, the Oud Wood dupe is incredible it is right on i know that oud wood from tom ford does have longevity issues it's a gorgeous fragrance but in terms of longevity maybe not ideal this one will last all day as will their okcha fragrance spray dupe i don't remember the name of it for the life of me because the names of those dupes are super confusing but i am just gonna put it up on the screen for you guys and whether you like a rollerball formulation or you want a spray formulation they're both incredibly good dupes of oud wood from tom ford those are all of my favorite oil fragrances from different brands of all of the fragrance oil brands that i've tried and i have tried many 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 fragrance oils these are the ones that really take the cake for me they're my top 10s let me know what your favorite fragrance oils are which ones do you guys think i should check out and let me know if you've ever checked out any of these that i've mentioned and what you think of them i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye